Hi and welcome to today's tutorial. Today we're working in Photoshop and we're going to learn how to make a clipping mask and we're going to learn how to add text to our images. I've started out by opening two images. We have one of Sunshine the Cat and on the next tab we have Nice Day. This is an image that I got from GettyImages.com and the most common question that I get asked is how do I get two or more images onto one image in one layer? We're going to do that by using our move tool, make sure that's selected, and we're going to click and drag this photograph up to the first tab, get it approximately placed and release. Your snap to should put it right into place for you. Once you've done that, you'll notice that you now have two layers over here in your layers palette. We can close out the other one, we won't be needing that anymore and come over here you'll see the eyeballs next to it. We're going to hide that layer one for just a little bit. We're going to work with our background with the sunshine picture and we're going to add some text to it. Come over to the toolbox you'll see the big T that's your text. Now normally it's set on the horizontal type tool but since we don't have a lot of horizontal space here I'm going to use the vertical type tool. I'm going to be using a font called King Things Wrote and it comes from defont.com I'm going to click over here and type in Sunny, which is the cat's name, and we can move that around by clicking the Move tool, clicking on the text, and we can move that where we want it at. It doesn't matter what color it is because that's all going to be replaced. That's what a clipping mask does. It will replace your text or whatever you choose with the image that we've selected, which is the cloud. So we're going to bring those back. And to make a clipping mask, this is very easy. If you notice my pointer over here, my cursor is now a hand. If I hold down my Option key or Control key on a Mac, you see when you cross that line between the layers, it becomes an eclipse. When that happens, just left click with your mouse and you're done. That's a clipping mask. You'll notice over here that our text has now been replaced with the image. And we can further enhance this. Um, by adding some effects. If you come down to the bottom of your layers palette here, you'll see the FX button. You can drop down on that menu and click drop shadow. You'll see that we have a drop shadow. If you come into the little box that pops up and click on drop shadow, you can, you'll notice you can change the direction that that sun hits it at. Or how the shadow is, you can change the size of it here the spread and all of that good stuff. Um, we can add inner shadow, we can add glow, we can bevel and emboss it which really makes it stand out. We click on that, we can control that a little bit more, we can make it deeper. Once you're satisfied with the outcome, click OK. And there you go, you have text, you have a clipping mask, and you're done. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more tutorials.